Okay, we got this all cleaned up here. So now I gotta try to measure this. So I'm gonna try to get a dimension from the main bearing. From here to here, and from here to here. So these are my 12 inch calipers. Hopefully these are long enough. That's all I got. These are extremely expensive. Especially if they don't want to come out of the box over there. So, these have some pretty long jaws on here, so hopefully we got enough length here we can get here and measure something. Okay, put those right there and don't drop them things. That there is about a $1,500 set of calipers. Double carbide tipped. Very expensive. Somewhere I got some 24 inch ones that are just standard steel ones, veneer calipers, really old stuff, but I don't know where those are. Probably not here. Okay, so clean your tips off, make sure they're good. Zeroes out. Just down flat where I won't keep moving around, it'll be nice. Okay, oh yeah, we got enough room. Problem though is trying to make it measure equally. Find a sweet spot. Seems to be about there. Zero. And that's what I was afraid of. Hitting on something there. This is not something you can look at, so that's the problem. Ninth hour is our sweet spot. Nine and a half. So I'm measuring, I set these at zero, so I'm getting about nine and a half. It's really hard for you to see what's going on. Maybe over here you might be able to see better. Get some way down. So basically we go in here. Try to find a sweet spot. I don't know if you can see the dial there, but so there's two thousand different we had before. Come back and check it again. Hitting against something probably back here on the caliper. Oop. That's a good way to break your carbide tip. Like that. Don't bang them in steel like that. Just right, we got to zero, but it's hard to get there. It was at two for a long time. Go over here. I was having the same problem over here. I'm hitting right here. This number's way higher than it was before. Okay. 
was about nine, nine and a half. Now for some reason like 13. Check this again. There's three, four, five, six. Just I can't go back to the same number again. Two in there someplace. hard to get the back where you were at us to go. It's not a good number to use. 11, there's our 10. So we're about 10. We gained it out. So it's 10 thou to, it's 10 thou higher on this one than this surface. So we got to cut 10 off that to make it more equal. It looks like the overall height was 4.62. So I have no idea what it's supposed to be, but that just happens to be what our number is. With this set of calipers, that changes. And that is not a true number because we have a nice square shank and a round hole, so that's not how you measure a round hole correctly. It's just how we have it. Okay, so. Basically, we want to cut some metal off of here. I don't know if I want to cut full 10 off, but at least 8. I have no idea how accurate the heads are either, so who knows. But we're going to have to cut that down some more to make it more equal. Now, you got two disadvantages of this. One is you got more compression. Is that a negative? Mm, I'm not sure about that. Uh, two is the cylinder, if you get close again, so the manifold gets tighter. I don't know if that's a negative either, because usually they're really loose up there. So. I think those are negative. Those are pluses, not negatives. But anyway. So I'm going to put this thing all back in here, and we're going to cut yeah, 8, 9 tile. I don't want to go to full 10 because I have no idea how accurate that 10 really is. I don't want to cut it too short. Alright, so this is going to go back in there again. Now something I didn't measure was the height between the lifter block and here. That's another dimension you could have took. But I have no idea what those are at either because None of that stuff is cut to any standard. It's just I just cut to minimum cleanup. So, I don't think it really matters how high those are. Alright, should be getting this close. keeps the case up in the air so you can put the bolt through the hole without fighting it too much because <clears throat> that's definitely going to be a, mace, a major fight to get that where we want to be <clears throat> how close did I get this oh 0.32 0.4 0.3 0.4 0.2, 0.2, 0.17. It appears that my eyeballs aren't as bad as everybody says they are. 0.2 degree off. 0.2 degree. That's not too bad for just guessing, huh? 
Okay, so we got to go up or down? Probably up. Yep. It is too far down. I was right about that. Okay, there's three. There's zero. I know. Close enough for now. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and indicate that surface in this time. An indicator is always more accurate than a level. Okay, back over here. Back and forth here. Maybe I see a little bit, but I gotta work too. this in a little bit. Pretty close. Okay. So I wasn't sure if this is square. I didn't I did not I did these separate from each other. I did not make them the same height, so the same distance, whatever you call it. So, there's no reference to the cylinder going side to side. I just went off what the original case was. So I did not move this at all from where the table was before. We're at plus three degree, and you can see the air. It's just past zero. So there's only a 2,000 difference in cylinder location from this one to this one, even though I didn't even check that at all that way. That's just how close I got these bores equal to what they were before, assuming Harley hit them within 2,000. I'd say it's probably safe to say they're in that ballpark area. So all my universal jigging puts stuff pretty damn close to where things were before or should be. So It's like I'm just guessing here. <clears throat> we are coming up with fairly accurate work. Some people don't think you do it, but that's their problem. Okay, let's see how close we are this way. <clears throat> Ideally, this should be identical. It looks like we're within half a thou anyway. Okay, this one here is half over. That's two and a half down. That's three thou out of whack. And we were point two off on the level, I think. That's so uh, it works out to be about three. Oh, on this particular deal. Okay, there's zero. And zero. So this number didn't change when I moved it. That one, dude, that doesn't make sense. It should have went like that and made double change, but... Oh, well, it is what it is. So now when you're checking stuff... They're over there, and it looks like we're about the same on that side too. Pretty close, within a couple tenths probably. And that's just on the low side of the zero. And that's on the low side of the zero, so we're pretty even. Low side of zero. So we're easily within a quarter of a thou, because those little lines are half a thou apart. So that's two tenths of a thou accuracy. I think that's probably close enough for a Harley cylinder deck. And that came in pretty quickly because everything's nice and flat and true right now, so we're not fighting a bunch of weird stuff. So, go ahead and tighten this down. It's tight enough for what we're going to do. Ah. Alright, let's double check to make sure things didn't move on us. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. Dial this bore in.
is going on? Something ain't right here. Oh, we're way off center, that's what the problem is. About 10 on that side. Quite 10 this way. Should be about right there, I'm guessing. Side up. Yeah, until you get the numbers correct, the indicator moves around a lot. Okay, so let's move that a little bit away so I got a better idea where I'm at. <clears throat> yeah, we're within a thou now, I think. Okay, here's about three quarter up on that side, and we're about two on that side. That one's a little off that way. Zero, zero. Okay, that's down. That's our low spot. It's about five that off that way. Okay, we're just about one under on that side, and we're one under right there. Over here, we're one under. doesn't really matter because we're not boring the hole, but that means absolutely nothing. I just did all that, but it means absolutely nothing. I just waste of time. I am not boring this hole unless I re-chamfer it. So I did do it for the chamfer, I guess. I'm going to cut 10 thou off. That chamfer should still be deep enough. Hey, it makes it like I knew I was doing. Just gotta explain it away after you screw it all up. Yeah, I didn't really have to do that. Unless I have to put chamfer, then I need to do it. But for cutting this, we don't care where the center is, it doesn't matter.